Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to get things in place for our GUI. And as you know, in our last lesson, we created a series of variables so we could assign GUI textures and a GUI skin. So with that said, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and created a series of textures and if I just open this up I created them in paint very quickly I've used the size of 150 by 20 and this is the background one now obviously you can spend a lot of time to really make your textures look good I've just done these quickly however the background and the empty stat texture is probably better off being plain. However, when it comes to the full textures, so the full health, let's say, you may want to create your GUI, for example, where it's darker at the top, getting lighter towards the middle and getting darker again to give it like a uh, 3D effect. You know, you can go ahead and do that. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to do these in paint. I think you're all perfectly capable of doing that for yourselves. But um, this is what I've done and this is what I'm going to use. At least for the purposes of these tutorial videos. Now with that said, let's go ahead and we'll actually assign the appropriate texture. So background and the min and then we'll just assign the appropriate max texture to the appropriate slot so there's the hunger hydration stamina and the full battery now once we have these in place we've got to create a GUI skin now we did this before a long time ago when we did the main menu but we'll go through it again and this time we'll just right click create a new GUI skin and we'll just call this player health GUI and here's the options now for this make sure that you are in label here and I'm going to alter the text color because I want the text to be black and then we'll come we're still in label but then we'll come to here and we'll assign a font now I'm going to use the default of Arial for the purposes of this video now obviously there's plenty of fonts available on the unity asset store and at other places on the internet so you can go ahead and find a font that works for you but um, I'm just going to use the default just for the purposes of this tutorial so font style will leave as normal the alignment I want middle center because I want it drawn or written right across the middle of the GUI texture and I think we can actually leave the rest as they are and we just need to alter the font size. I'll make mine 12 for now. I may come back and adjust that once we have the GUI up and running. And please remember, when you've created a skin, if I click off it, you can always come back and re-edit it. You just need to click on the GUI skin. And it will bring you back straight here. And you can make any appropriate tweaks. And I do advise you to spend some time um, reading up about these... Uh, GUI skins there's plenty of documentation on the unity website because as you can see there are a lot of options far more than I can go into within the time frame of these videos but I also encourage you to experiment with the different options 
obviously once we've completed the script itself because I sometimes think especially with GUI skins that um, you can actually learn more sometimes just by experimenting and seeing how any tweaks that you make actually affect what happens on screen but I'm going to leave this as it is for now and we'll come back to the FPS controller and now we can just assign that skin and as I said in the last video this is so we can have as we display let's say the full health on screen it will actually have health written across the center the same for hunger and so on and this is so if uh, anybody's playing your game they know exactly what each bar is for but um, I think we'll leave it here for this video now in the next lesson we'll continue on with the script itself and actually get the script or at least the beginnings of functionality added to the script because at the moment we just have a list of variables with nothing much happening so that's what we'll be doing in the next video i hope you enjoyed this one i hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now